What's up, folks? How's it going? My name is Alex, aka Adobe One. Uh, I'm a glass blower in Helena, Montana. And uh, this video, I'm going to talk about some uh, some tips for saving some money around your shop, and also some early uh, early career tips on uh, like making sales and. Um, other other good good tips for uh, early in your career I guess um, I've been on the torch for two years uh, as of last December and uh, you guys can check my Instagram out uh, at Adobe one glass to see the kind of work that I make and uh, I have some tips on increasing the speed of your learning curve or how to get good quickly I guess um, so first I'd like to talk about a couple things that I do on my bench. Actually before I do that real quick I'll show you, I wanted to show everybody this rig that I uh, was just smoking on. Um, this is the new version of something I've been working on for a little bit. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to call it uh, name wise. I was calling them the percolating recycler um, and actually I have a, this is kind of the first or second version. Um, they feature a kind of percolator coffee pot style chamber where the water is sprayed into from the uptake and uh, this is kind of what I've come up with as my uh, shape that I'm going to work with for a little bit and see what I can do with that so I'm pretty happy with that right now uh, it functions really well so Anyways, uh, I want to show you guys some stuff that I have with my bench set up over here. And uh, I'm going to move this camera. So the first thing I wanted to show is this metal trough here. It's a half of a stainless steel uh, duct, like air duct, I guess, for like heating or cooling system. And it comes out about eight inches away from my stainless steel bench here and it raises up I believe this is an eight by four inch uh, piece or or so um, and it has served me very well keeping things from rolling off the bench and uh, hot pieces of glass falling from my torch uh, you know marbles all sorts of stuff uh, it keeps that from falling off your bench Second thing I'd like to show you guys is my torch stand. I use a cymbal stand, specifically a cymbal boom stand, to mount my GTT links onto. And uh, as you can see, <clears throat> it's, I, uh, it's about a foot back from the bench. And I actually, it's not actually attached to the bench. I just have a hole through the gutter here where it comes up through I can detach it um, as these stands come apart into a couple segments uh, it's pretty much a freestanding torch stand I have this uh, this tray here attached as well which supports my Bunsen burner there and um, another thing I'd like to show you guys for 10 bucks I got this <coughs> excuse me this uh, this welding torch stand I believe it's a it's for a MIG welder um, but you can flip it around and use it to support a glass rod or handle or whatever um, and I use that to warm things up over my Bunsen and uh, add-ons what have you uh, while you're getting ready to, to attach them and then the last thing I'll show you with my bench set up here I'll set this camera down is uh, I have rollers set up here on this is actually uh, I can't remember what this piece was from but it's just a uh, mount for a pole that uh, bolts to something and I've got a selfie stick in there this one is a pretty sturdy one so um, I know there's quite a variety of selfie sticks out there but this one can support a decent amount of weight uh, I have a video that I'm gonna post soon where I just break down a big piece of tubing with this thing to show that it can support the weight um, anyways, the contraption I have on the end here, um, I could have just screwed it into the end, 
Um, but I also have a mount here so that I can um, stick this, uh, lift this up a little bit. I can mount it onto my torch as well. So um, sometimes if you have a way to hold a piece of tubing or what have you above your torch in line with the flame, uh, you can heat up a lot larger piece of it at a time. Um, but anyways, this uh, this base just clamps to this little wood table I have here, and this is really quite sturdy. I can support quite a bit of weight on that on that piece there. Um, all right, that's about it for uh, <clears throat> the features of my bench. I was going to point out today. Um, also, I guess uh, something I would suggest is uh, if there is a tool that you see someone use and is available um, from someone who makes it, manufactures it, um, like marble molds, for example, you know, things like that, uh, nice, nice reamers and stuff, um, they're worth the money spending on uh, the legitimate tools from people that that make these for a living I think it's worth uh, spending the money on however you can get away with uh, saving some money on things like like these like I have one nice reamer and then I have uh, these are titanium bits without the uh, well they would be step bits I don't know what they're called without the steps but they're just uh, tapered bits and these work really well for reaming stuff uh, I use wax on them but they can really handle high temperatures and have served me quite well um, so uh, you know stuff like that and also I've made you know large uh, large things like this out of um, pieces of, of uh, you know graphite rod or whatever. God, I can't, can't remember anything I'm talking about right now. Anyways, okay, cool. So that was that stuff. And then um, the last thing I'd like to talk about today, let's see if I can bring up, there it is. Cool. Early glass blowing tips. Uh, like I said, I've been on the torch for two years and there are some things that I would suggest to anybody that is uh, new to glass or even just early in their career. Um, if they haven't quote unquote made it yet and by making it I think the metric that uh, most glass blowers measure that is if you are comfortably making enough money just through your glass that you don't need to work another job anymore <clears throat> Excuse me. and um, you know that being said one of the the main suggestions that I have is to uh, be working another job and continue to work another job uh, well into blowing glass. I actually was uh, working full-time for the first 10 months of learning to blow glass and uh, I left that job kind of abruptly and hadn't really tried too hard to sell any work before that um, but at the end of 10 months I had a decent product that I could uh, you know reliably make for for a couple shops so that's you know when I began my relationship with uh, with shops um, or with making sales with with uh, other businesses and uh, <clears throat> and and I actually spent a year uh, not working and just focusing on glass and that was only possible because my girlfriend uh, was or is working a pretty good paying job um, you know by our standards anyways and she was nice enough to allow me to uh, focus on glass and that was you know I was making sales and I was making close to what I was making working at the restaurant prior to that but I really wasn't uh, you know I just uh, picked up another part-time job um, just before Thanksgiving and even in the few months that I've been doing that it has helped out so much and I'm looking at being able to upgrade my torch and a couple other pieces of equipment so um, you know, in hindsight, it was nice to be able to just focus on my work this whole time. Uh, but really, I regret not uh, working another job that whole time because I could be, you know, ahead of where I'm at now because I would have been able to afford a bigger torch. 
and you know a bigger kiln some other stuff some improvements to just my setup you know uh, I'm still working in a very small space uh, you know hence the reason I came up with some of these safety precautions that that make it easier to not drop shit on the floor um, that being said also on my floor I have uh, it I'm in a kitchen as a matter of fact so on my floor on this section of the room I have uh, a quarter inch thick piece of plywood over the whole floor which was is linoleum so I have wood covering anything that uh, you know uh, glass could melt I guess and also make sure you have plenty of fire extinguishers around I recommend uh, one large fire extinguisher per stage torch you have so if you have a two stage torch make sure you have two large fire extinguishers I don't know, that's not a rule or anything, but I think it's a good metric to have because, uh, <laughs> you know, torches make big fires. So, um, <clears throat> all right, learn other stuff while you work. That's a big one. I have spent uh, a lot of time educating myself on a number of, of other topics because I've had the time while I've been blowing glass to listen to other things. And... Uh, yeah, that's about all I'll say on that now. I'll put out another video where I recommend uh, a lot of the things on a lot of the topics that I'm interested in. Um, but for now, I will just say that uh, your time is, is well spent um, practicing glass and learning other things. Uh, yeah, very much so. Um, investing in yourself, uh, building a business. What I mean by that is, uh, you know, spending it's definitely worth waiting a little bit longer and investing in equipment or um, you know materials things to make it your own business instead of relying on other people to use their equipment or you know space even um, having your own space and being able to do your own thing on your own torch on your own equipment with your own gear all that stuff it's uh, really important to to acquire those things because you know, the more you build your own personal, you know, setup and all of that, the less you have to rely on other people and the less uh, other people's turbulent lives can affect yours. And that's not to say that uh, everyone is unreliable because there's certainly people out there that reach out and, um, you know, give help and it's worth taking it. But I'm saying not to expect too much from anybody and uh, you know rely on yourself and accumulate your own business and your own your own shop and all that stuff it's, it's just a good thing to do um, making sales in person and establishing business relationships I think is uh, crucial to to this thing and that's what I struggle with the most um, you know I've learned to make the glass really well but I'm still falling short on um, reaching out and introducing myself to places and going to new businesses and uh, making those connections um, you know and I see some guys on <clears throat> you know there's there's dudes on on things like Instagram and I guess that's the main platform for artists but um, you know there's dudes that can make uh, you know a case of glass and post about it on Instagram and say yo shops hit me up and uh, you know they get shops hitting them up because those are relationships they've already established you know um, Instagram is a great tool for for us to get our art out there and expose people to what we're making and you know let people that are interested in our work see what how we improve and and the new stuff we make um but every guy that i see that that is able to uh well i don't know these are when when people post and say hit me up <coughs> for work and stuff um you know those are business relationships they've already established with shops and uh, I don't know I've I've definitely made an odd sale off of Instagram but uh, every decent business connection I've made has been through a personal meeting with someone or uh, time that I've taken to to uh, I don't know what am I trying to say 
uh, encourage that relationship. Um, God, I'm sorry. I'm totally uh, brain farting on a word that I was trying to think of, but um, no can do. Anyways, so learn from people with more experience, and I say that because there's a lot of uh, people making videos and stuff out there, just like this one, um, <clears throat> and uh, my suggestion is to learn from people that are more experienced than myself, and, uh, well, even not, I don't know, there's uh, there's something to be gained from from information from any source, really. Whether even if it's something not to do, you know, so it's worth checking out pretty much anything you can, you know, if you have the time for it, uh, you know, look into any resource that you might be able to get a hands on, you know, um, <clears throat> I'd especially recommend uh, checking out the, there's a series of webinars that are available. Corning Museum of Glass has a bunch of uh, live stream demos and a bunch of just a lot of stuff that they posted for free. Um, Torch Talk especially, those guys are great. Uh, I've learned so much from Torch Talk and the peripheral uh, guests that are on there. They, uh, Mike Mason records a lot of demos and Will Young for that matter. Uh, those two guys, they record a lot of demos at a lot of these glass um, glass game events, the, the uh, you know, trade shows and uh, competitions. So there's a lot of good good content there. Um, a lot of lessons, you know, Revere, of course, uh, Redbeard, those are all YouTube guys. Um, anyways, listen to what they say, you know. Um, you might think it useless to just listen to, uh, you know, a couple hippies talk for a couple hours about just getting stoned and blowing glass, but uh, there might be... 30 seconds in there where they say something that just like, I don't know, makes it click for you and it's, yeah, like I said, if you can spend the time, it's worth it. Um, listen to what these guys say. Don't drink alcohol. <laughs> uh, I don't drink alcohol anymore and that'd be hypocritical for me to say don't drink ever or don't drink at all. I just, I wrote, I put that down because, uh, you know, alcohol and other things are quite a distraction and uh, <clears throat> it's just a matter of how much you spend your time doing any one thing you know and uh, alcohol wastes a lot of time and hard drugs waste a lot of time but that's another episode <laughs> I will definitely be back to talk about my experience with addiction and recovery and uh, where I think um, people should go if they are seeking help and I mean directionally in their life um, what I think the best method for staying clean is and uh, all that good stuff I'll be talking all about that um, but if anyone is watching this and has any experience with alcohol you more or less know that it is anti-productive to any kind of like true and meaningful progress you're gonna make in your life uh, and I'll tell you, this last two years, I would not have made half the progress I did if I was drinking, um, even just, spe you know, just by spending the money on alcohol, I wouldn't have been able to order as much glass and, and practice as much, you know, so there's that, um, and then I definitely encourage everyone to spend that time that you spend learning on things, uh, spend some of that time learning about humanity and yourself, your mind, how it works. Uh, philosophy and uh, any number of other things that um, you know learning a new skill learning any skill set to mastery or even to competence uh, teaches you some things about yourself that you had no idea you were going to learn um, you know patience being one of them and hopefully along the way to getting good at something you are humbled by the experience and and learn to respect and understand what it takes to be good at something and therefore you'll be able to recognize that in others and uh, yeah it's it's a lot funner world when when you recognize um, just how good people are at stuff and if 
when someone is good at something like art or glass or any number of other things, uh, it says something about that person because you know and you understand from your own experience what it what it takes to go through that journey to get that good at something. And, um, you know, when you've made it to a point where uh, the reality of the difficulty of a journey like that becomes, you know, known to you, um, you gain a whole new respect for, for other people who have made that journey as well and for those who are embarking and uh, working at that journey. So. Anyways, that's all I really have to say about that today. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, again, my name is Alex, aka Adobe One, Adobe One Glass. Uh, check out some of the links below. Uh, I link to Torch Talk. I sorry, I keep looking down because my screen's over here. That's probably super annoying, but um, Torch Talk. I definitely recommend checking out all those episodes. Uh, there's so many. Just you know, again. You might not think you're interested in a skill skill or you know whatever but in that video you'll see just you know 10 seconds of that person opening a tube in a way that you were not previously aware could be done you know or just something something cool that you didn't expect to learn and uh, I've been having those moments uh, all the time in the last couple of years since I started blowing glass that have just uh, really made this a rich experience and uh, you know um, yeah I hope to share that experience with everyone else so if you're watching this and you have a suggestion on some early technique or uh, you know maybe perspective uh, it's still pretty fresh in my mind all the things that I've learned in the last couple of years um, and if you check out any of my work and have any questions on how I do any of that stuff or you'd like to see some of that in the video, uh, I have a new camera this year and uh, this new year I got a new camera, a new plan, a new rig design, and hopefully some new videos to help out uh, some new glass blowers. So thank you folks. Have a great day and uh, thanks for checking out this video.